Hoe wij denken over abortus is nog niet heel erg anders, maar millennials zijn kritischer. Wat vind jij? Is abortus een vrouwenrecht? Haar lijf, haar beslissing? Of moeten we de rechten van het ongeboren kind beschermen? Laat ons even weten in de comments en vergeet niet te abonneren. Abortion has become a hot topic in the Netherlands. Our public news broadcast made a video to assess the public opinion. Almost all of the comments under this YouTube video are pro-choice. The comments reveal a lot about the ignorance and irrationality of the pro-choice side. In this video I will pick four popular comments and show you why they don't make any sense at all. Welcome to the channel, my name is Karel Lange and my goal is to help you defend the Christian faith by responding to anti-Christian content. Before I assess the four pro-choice comments, I think it's wise to first say something important about the abortion debate. Many things can be said in favor of pro-choice or pro-life, but in the end there are only two relevant questions that need to be addressed. How you answer these questions will determine how you should assess everything else. Here are the questions. Do human beings possess intrinsic moral value? And is the developing fetus a human being? Let's start with the first question. Do human beings have intrinsic moral value? Something has intrinsic value if it's an end in itself rather than a means to some end. Money, for example, has no intrinsic value, but only extrinsic, because it depends on what value humans give to it. In and of itself, it's worthless, it's just paper. The question is, are human beings like money or do they have intrinsic value? Are they a means to an end or ends in themselves? I think we all intuitively recognize that we have intrinsic worth. That is why the medieval philosopher Augustine said, we should love people and use things, not vice versa. Most of us agree that if you use people and love things, then you are immoral because you don't treat people the way they should be treated, namely as ends in themselves. The truth is recognized in the Declaration of Independence, which affirms that all men are endowed with certain unalienable rights, such as the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. This fact implies that if a developing fetus is a human being, then he or she has intrinsic worth and therefore possesses certain inalienable rights, such as the right to life. Abortion would be a form of homicide if the fetus is human. So let's address the second question. Is the developing fetus a human being? The answer to this question is so obviously yes, that it almost does not need to be answered. However, we live in strange times and many people believe strange things, so this question needs to be addressed. It is a scientific fact that the fetus is at every stage in its development a human being. The fetus is not canine or feline, it is a human fetus. From the moment of conception there exists a living organism which will, if you just leave it to grow inside the uterus, grow into an adult member of its species. It is a genetically complete human being from the moment of conception. Its gender, body type, eye and hair color are all determined at the moment of conception. So we can confidently conclude that the developing fetus is, in fact, a human being. With this information, let's evaluate the pro-choice comments. If you are against abortion, you should at least adopt a child. First of all, most pro-life organizations offer help regarding adoptions. I think it is good to do our best for children who need adoption parents. However, it doesn't follow that you are not allowed to speak out against abortion if you are unwilling to adopt. For example, I can be against domestic violence and at the same time be unwilling to take care of the children who are raised in these homes. I'm justified to be against rape, but that does not mean that I should become some sort of Batman and roam the streets at night to protect women from harm. The fact that you are not helping the people who are being harmed does not mean you are unjustified to say that harming people is wrong. Killing innocent human beings such as the unborn is wrong and we are justified in saying so whether we are willing to adopt them or not. The second comment. It would be crazy if the right to have an abortion is taken away. I'm for women's rights. There are many problems with this statement. First, when we talk about rights, we should focus on human rights, not just women's rights. All human beings have inalienable rights. This is true for men and women. Second, it is unclear to me how a woman should ever have the right to kill her own offspring. If you think it is a human right to kill innocent people, then I'm afraid you need to change your moral compass. Killing innocent human beings should never be a right. Third, if women's rights are so important, then what about the rights of all the little women who die because of abortion? About half of the people who are aborted are women. What about their rights? The third comment. I will never understand why people like to make decisions about other people's lives. If somebody wants an abortion, I would never want to take away their right to do it. 
If this question is sincere, it's stupid. And if it's meant to make a point, it's hypocritical. Pro-lifers who oppose the killing of innocent human beings are being criticized for the fact that they want to make decisions about other people's lives, in this case, about the life of the mother. They want her to keep the baby if she's pregnant. This is true, but the reason they want this is because they want to protect the life of the baby. If the person who typed this comment really thinks that we shouldn't make decisions about other people's lives, then he should ask himself as to why he doesn't see a problem with the extreme decision to end the life of the people in the womb. This question should be asked to the pro-choice side. Why would people want to make the decision to end other people's lives? The most extreme decision you can make for another human life is killing it. So to think that this is a question that should be asked to the pro-life side is simply absurd. The fourth and final comment. I really don't get why men would be involved in this issue if they are not the father of the clumps of cells. Because men and women have the moral obligation to speak out against evil. The identity of the person who says something is irrelevant. The content of what is being said is relevant. If abortion is homicide, then it's evil. It doesn't matter whether a man or a woman speaks out against it. Evil remains evil. To call the fetus a clump of cells is just irrational rhetoric. It gives the impression that a fetus does not have intrinsic worth, but technically speaking, we are all clumps of cells. So if this person wants to be consistent, she needs to conclude the same about all humans. Either we all have intrinsic worth, or none of us have it. I want to finish this video with a brilliant response to this comment by political commentator Ben Shapiro. If you like this video, please subscribe. I would suggest that my identity has nothing to do with what is right or wrong. And this is what Western civilization used to be about. Western civilization used to be about the idea that, yes, I'm not a woman in the healthcare field, but you and I can have a conversation about what's right and wrong because this is the nature of human reason. The nature of human reason, the nature of right and wrong is that you and I can talk about what's right and wrong and that I don't retreat into my identity. If we can all retreat into our identity and our morality is now centered around that identity, morality doesn't exist at all. We break down into a society of fragmented atoms where I can't even say, like, you're torturing a puppy in your backyard. I have nothing to say about that. I'm not a white woman who's in the healthcare field. I'm not going to do that. I don't, I don't, I, I refuse to surrender the idea that I can have a moral stance on issues that are of concern to society and of concern to the, to the well-being of the United States simply because of the color of my skin or the nature of my genitalia. And honestly, I believe any of you that feels differently is sexist, racist, and bigoted.